let us see the next question consider following information sales of a company is given 7 lakh 30 thousand average collection period or the credit period is 30 days you are required to answer you are required to calculate these three answers amount of the daily sales amount of the daters time period for which funds of the company remain blocked in daters I request you to give answer for first and second part of the question in the chat box so answer of the first question the question says that say what is the amount of the daily sales so it is the annual sales provided to us divided by the number of days in a year so I request you to write down answer along with me amount of daily sales it is calculated as annual sales divided by 365 days amount of the annual sales is 7 lakh 30 thousand divided by 365 days that comes to rupees 2000 per day that is the amount of the daily sales the question is providing further that say what is the amount of the daters the question is providing the information that average collection period is 30 days so write and answer the second question amount of daters in that case annual credit sales we assume that the entire sales is on credit in absence of any information divided by 360 days into average collection period so in that case it is 7 lakh 30 thousand divided by 360 i'm sorry 365 because no clarification made for 360 multiplying with average collection period that comes to rupees 2000 per day into average collection period is 30 days so 2000 into 30 that comes to rupees 60,000 that is the way the amount of the data can be calculated next question is what is the time period for which funds of the company remain blocked in daters I request somebody of you to write in the chat box what is the time period for which the funds of the company remain blocked in daters let us have understanding of the answer of the question like this before we understand the answer i just have some discussion with you only in discussion column number one is day column number two is credit sales and column number three is daters first day of the business is over first day of the business we understand and say what would be the datas datas would be 2000 whatever the credit sales is the datas second day of the business is over what is the datas 4000 third day of the business is over what is the datas it is 6000 that is the way we will be having so the amount of the datas 
day one, day two, day three, day four, like that. Let us say that say after thirty days of the business, what would be the amount of data? It will be like sixty thousand. Because the collection period is thirty days, so during first thirty days there is no collection. After thirty one days of the business, can you write in the chat box that what would be the data? Friends, over here we understand that again sales will be two thousand. Opening data is sixty thousand. Whatever the first day sales that would be collected, so bank account debited to data, so two thousand is deducted. However, this amount of the two thousand would be added to it. So what will happen? Sixty thousand minus two thousand plus two thousand. And answer would be again sixty thousand. It means that so the amount of the data would be same as sixty thousand itself. After thirty second day of the business, again the sales will be two thousand, and same story will be repeated, and the data would be sixty thousand, and so on. We know friends that so the in absence of an information. we assume that say we are going to do business for perpetuity so we can say that say for perpetuity we would be having so the data of 60000 amount of 60000 is going to remain blocked in the business not for a particular time period but it is going to remain blocked in the business forever that is what we understand it is going to remain blocked for perpetuity so importantly friends what happens at the funds of the company remain blocked in debtors or remain blocked in working capital till the time the company is doing business in absence of an information say it is remaining blocked in the business till the time the company is doing business that is perpetuity for our understanding remember that so the debtors are calculated using the collection period but it is not like that that the funds of the company is remaining blocked only for 30 days funds of the company remain blocked in the business till the time the company is doing business that is over here perpetuity next understand carefully what i am going to speak at any point of time at any point of time if at all you prepare the balance sheet you will find that for the preceding 30 days the credit sales will remain blocked in the business at any point of time may it be the 1st of october may it be it is 30th of september or may it be 16th of august you will always observe that say for the last 30 days credit sales will remain blocked in the business this is what say we understand is the concept that we have Let us answer the third question now. I am dictating answer to you. Funds of the company will remain blocked in business. forever it means at any point of time comma the company will have Data's rupees sixty thousand after thirty days of business. Full stop. Credit sales. Equal to thirty days.
will always remain locked in business at any point of time. Full stop. With Pedagar Fred down. Datas are calculated using collection period that is 30 days however it remains invested forever so here in the first part of the question we have computed the credit sales sorry amount of daily sales in second part of the question we have computed the datas in the third part of the question, uh, we are required to answer that say what is the time period for which the funds of the company will remain blocked in the datas.